Hello, in this video we are going to cover models in Coca Studio to use in your 3D scene. You can't use models in a regular scene as in a 2D scene, it has to be in a 3D scene. Well, a model is basically pretty much everything in a 3D game that you would interact with, use, touch, the character that you play will be a model, the let's say the table that you interact with, the environment, they will be all forms of models. So you can drag on a model from here and what we can do is start moving it around. So if we just use these arrows, we can move it around in its corresponding axis which is basically uh, listed here. So we got Y which is the one we got selected at the moment, X is the red one and the blue one is Z. So let's just get this back over here so it's near us. There we go. Oh, let's move it away a little bit. The other stuff that you can do is just sort of just click this one and this just allows me to pan around it. So I can just say, okay, I want it. I just want to have a look from here, then have a look from here. Obviously, we have the movement tool. This is rotation. So again, you're rotating it around its corresponding axis. So if I were to choose the red, one, it, I would rotate it around the x-axis like so and oh, I want to try and rotate it around the yellow axis I mean not the yellow axis this would be the z-axis the next property is basically scaling so I can scale it like so and again it's all in the same corresponding axis if I click on the middle cube it scales it evenly across all axes which is pretty darn cool so let's just leave that as it is and all the properties obviously updating rotation scale and position so you can set them manually like so Oop. you can set its visibility to on and off set a tag if we scroll down you can set its opacity very easy pretty simple stuff you can put a percentage in let's put this back to 100 percent change the camera mask as well again there's just a certain stuff can view it play animation we'll show you that in a second once we import a different model let's change the color as well so if i wanted a reddish color if you want the original color of the object then you just put it back to all white like so and uh, what we're going to do is change the file. It supports .c3b and .obj, and I think .c3 too. Well, it does because it's using it right there. One thing to bear in mind: .obj format doesn't support animations. Nothing to do with uh, Cocos Studio or Cocos. That's just .obj. That's just the Wavefront file system. So if you want to use animation, which most likely you will, use the .c3b format is Cocos's own format. We'll have a separate video um, discussing that format and how to get models of that format. So we have an example model on the desktop. So we're just going to import it. You can use the import button here. You can do file import as well so let's just do it like so let's go to desktop i've got a couple so i've got this orc.c3b and a .tga which is basically the texture file so let's click select but now that this has been imported what we're going to do is just drag the orc file onto the model file <laughs> it is goddamn big there you go actually you know what what i'm going to do is undo all these changes because they're obviously it's obviously messing with the new model and that's obviously not good at all so let's just get it back to its original size original rotation yeah that's fine let's just get it positioned somewhere here that's all good drag the org file on and here we go it's a very big model but that's just well the size of the model one thing to bear in mind if i didn't have the .tga file in the same folder then it would just basically be a blank model so that's something to bear in mind so there you go this is our model right here it's a pretty big scary looking model and we can move the model as we would and scale it rotate it and all that other good stuff as we usually would but with this model I know that there's animation in there so if I click play animation it basically starts playing the animation you would obviously 
access in code and say let's play this particular animation at this particular point in the game if you just heard that then I don't know how sensitive my mic is to my stomach but yeah that was my stomach I'm hungry so gotta finish this video so let's just stop playing the animation can change the color as I did before so if I put a reddish color maybe the uh, character's green or maybe your character's dying something along those lines and I can change the opacity as well Ooh, it's like Casper the Ghost is changing color, I mean changing opacity. And obviously if I set visible to off, it disappears. So it's that simple to use models in Coco Studio for your 3D scene. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. There will be a separate video covering models i mean the actual file format in general we haven't really discussed that too much and how to obtain models of that format so check that out if you want more information regarding that and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day